Hey, how's it going? This is Joe Intel, and today I'm going to be doing something different. I watch a show called Worth It from BuzzFeed, and I really like what they're doing on that show, so I figured I'd do my own version inspired by that show. And this time, we're going to be talking about headphones. So first, let me tell you about our show sponsor, Appos Audio. Appos Audio is a store based in Oakland, California. These guys really focus on customer service. They provide lowest price match, 30-day free returns, a two-year extended manufacturer's warranty, and free shipping. If you do find a lower price online, go ahead and talk to them and they'll be able to match the price. Make sure to check out their website, apples.audio. I'll leave a link in the description. These guys have tons of personal audio products for you to check out. You want the latest THX headphone app? They got you. You want some in-ear monitors? They have a ton at different price ranges. You looking for a new DAC? They got you covered. Make sure to check them out at apples.audio. Link in the description. I'm going to look at some headphones that I've reviewed previously to see what's really worth it. So I'm going to be comparing some that are around $30, another pair that are $300, and another that are $3,000. So first, let's hear from my friend Heather. So this is the first one here. This is the first pair. I like the dots. Are right. they my target? No. <laughs> those look a little hipper. <laughs> they look a little bit hipper? Than those, yeah. <laughs> All right, so... These look very deluxe. They look very they look, deluxe. They look so like a fancy couch. I bet the packaging on here is dope too. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. Comfort wise. All right. This is one, so I'll have to compare. They feel pretty good though. How they feel. And now as I compare these, like this does have that whole leathery, cushy feel, which is cozy. They're all squishy and fancy. Oh, these feel a lot better too. Okay. I like how these feel. Mm -hmm. And they actually yeah. look very luxury. Like they, like if I got these for a present, I'd uh -huh. be like, these are expensive and fancy. And this is very nice. It feels like you're on like a leather couch or something. <laughs> so this is way cozier. Okay. I'm talking to you right now. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. These have noise canceling. It's a lot quieter in here. All right. So now, sound really different. now hold your right hand to the ear. Yeah. So now that makes it so you can hear me, right? That is still cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I love that. And then if you take your hand off and I just keep talking, you're like, whoa. So how about as far as looks can and hear feel? you right now. Yeah, you can't. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, you, oh my so now God. you can hear me, right? It's so different. Yeah. Now it's like you're on a speaker, but before, yeah. yeah. say something. Yeah, can you hear me? Oh my God, I can't even hear you. <laughs> I want these. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a big So one. how does that sound as far as like, does it block out my voice as well as those? Mm, how does no, it feel? You, no, does it that work? was on another level. These sound good, but I don't, I'm not comparing yet. This is number one, so okay. they sound good though. I like this. I wonder if it's louder. These sound better. These sound better. Very clear. And these are just, I don't know, I just adjust the volume to get it was just like louder, but I think it was on the same volume. Yeah. These just have like better sound. These sound great. I just don't know if I love this big old thick corn. Yeah. Go get it. Go get your blessing. Right. Yeah, I like these. Can I tell you the prices? Yeah. All right, so those those first ones are under thirty dollars. Okay, probably so. Yeah, under thirty bucks. Yeah, these are around three hundred dollars. I could see why. Yeah, yeah. three hundred bucks. These here are three thousand. <gasps> oh, are you serious? I see why. Yeah. Because it, it's all on the couch. Yeah. I mean, these are so dope. I mean, like three thousand. So maybe this cord is because it's giving you like all this high tech support. Exactly, yeah. But let me tell you, these are fancy, like if I wanted to impress somebody, but like you said, they're not like you'd wear them out. Yeah. So if I was like just in bed watching a movie or something, like these are like super flush. Would you, would you take those on an airplane? Yes. You're braver than me. I wouldn't take those on an airplane. Why, what happens? I just feel like I have three G's on the head and uh, I'm yeah. scared Why three somebody... G's? What's so... They're made out of like some that's what it is. I wonder, is there sound in here? What's this? Just all cushy? Just all cushy. Yeah. Three thousand um, dollars. Yeah, the drivers that make the sound are made out of some crazy material that's like oh radioactive. And this is like for people durable. who are not worried about like money. This is a way. How much? Two hundred. They're two ninety nine. Okay. When yeah. they're on sale. That sounds about right. And yeah. these are the only ones that have the option of wireless. Yeah, out of all of them. Yeah. And they have noise canceling. And they're studios. small and compact. And they're actually really squishy too. Yeah, you can fold them like. Yeah, they still see. have that like. Yeah, this one folds like that. Yeah. I just you know, like, if you're traveling. Yeah. So you can make yeah, you could. Small. You're right. Three thousand is a lot to take on, to take on Frontier. <laughs> yeah. 
These are... You better be first class with these, exactly. all right? Exactly. <laughs> Gotta upgrade your ticket with those. These are the best. All right. For 300? Yeah, and that's, wireless. I like the whole wireless idea. That's the way to go. Dude, I really like those. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you get for 2.99. All right, so now let's see what my brother-in-law Jonathan thinks of some of these. Okay. So as far as looks, like your impression? Uh, it looks... It, it looks pretty cool. I thought it was gonna be heavier than it actually is. Go ahead, what do you think about the looks on those? It's uh, it looks a little bit more basic, not too much to it, but uh, I don't mind that. It's a it feels a little bit heftier than the first pair. Okay, so right off the bat, uh, looks wise, what do you think? Yeah, it looks, uh, looks like it would be a lot more expensive than the first two. Okay, well you like nice things, so you can <laughs> you kind of pick out stuff like that. Yeah. So they don't have really any special features. They're just headphones. Okay. Now these have active noise canceling and obviously they have Bluetooth. Now hold your right hand to the to that ear. And so now you can like, you should be able to hear me. Oh, that's if I crazy. talk to you. That's like, you know, if you're talking to somebody like, all right, hold on. Okay, go ahead. And then if you take it off. Don't get it, Drimmer. Yeah, so like. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Then I showed him some of the touch controls. Oh, that's convenient. Yeah. As far as features, it doesn't have Bluetooth. It's still wired. There's no um, active noise canceling like on these. Okay. Feels a little feels a little flimsy. But <laughs> I, I don't have I don't have big headphones like this usually. So how about comfort? Comfort. It's a, it's definitely comfortable. It feels a little bit more locked into uh, my head than the other one. They're comfortable. Yeah. Usually my head's pretty big, so I was thinking none of these would be comfortable, but it feels good. All right. Yeah. And then how does it isolate the sound? Does everything sound like quieter? Or? Oh, I can hear everything. Okay. Yeah. All right. Right now, how is it doing as far as the isolation? Oh, wow. Like, there's a big difference before you did that. I could hear everything. I could tell that it's closing off a lot more. The isolates sound a little bit better than the first one, but not as much as the second one. Okay. Yeah. That's about right. I feel like it's a lot of treble, a little bit of bass. Okay. Yeah. All right. It feels overall like a little bit better. Like. I feel like the first ones, it felt like the, the trouble really sticked out, the bass didn't. This one feels a little bit more solid all around. Yeah, like, um, so I'm a, I like a lot of bass. Uh -huh. And I felt like this one didn't pack as much bass as the Sony okay. one. Okay. I all mean, right. overall, the sound's good. Uh -huh. But, uh, yeah, I, I think I was just expecting a little bit more based off how, how it actually looked. I'll tell you the prices. Okay. So, this first one here. Uh -huh. These are called the Talent SMH 580s, and these sell for under $30. Okay. All right. These are the Sony WH-1000XM3s, and these are around $300. Okay. You know, sometimes they're on sale $299. Right. Right, right, right. And these Focal Stellias, these are $3,000. <laughs> what? Yeah. I mean, like, they... I, yeah, $3,000. I can tell they, they looked a lot more expensive than the other two, but... I don't think the sound is worth three thousand just off of what I've heard. I know, I know, I've only listened to one song. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. There they are. So, what would be your pick for you? I would pick. I would pick the Sony one. Sony's yeah. right down the middle. Yeah. For All right. Sure. Well, there you go. Yeah. All right. So this is my buddy Travis from Best Buy. He works at the Magnolia Design Center. So I ran into him the other day and I had to ask him what he thought. $30 headphones, oh. $300 or $3,000? I would be Just a $300 headphone three, guy. Okay. Because on, on a $30 headphone, my assumption is you're not going to get any, any bass response. You're not going to get a, a, any sort of separation. Uh -huh. um, and $300 le level, you're going to ha have options in, in noise cancellation, detail, good for music, good for travel. Now $3,000, I'm not... Uh, uh, going to put in that kind of money in a headphone. If I'm going to put spend three grand, I'm going to put it in into a nice pair of speakers. Uh, uh, um, there, I just don't see myself use it, using that. There's going to be a clientele for that, but it wouldn't be for me. But a three hundred dollar one is could be great for travel, great great for listening, uh, working out, whatever it may be. There's options across the board. So that's my guy Travis right there. If you're ever at Best Buy Burbank, you come and see him if you ever need mm -hmm. some speaker stuff. Thanks, man. Yeah. All right, so you heard from them. Now let me tell you what I think about some of these. So for the Talent SMH580s, first of all, these are modified. These have an, a really long cable originally, way too long. So I modified mine so that I could take out the cable. It has a hole here and it had a sticker that said SMH580 and they're pretty ugly. So I ended up taking them off, but I found out that they need to be blocked because there's some, some, it needs to be sealed. And so I ended up putting a, a Target sticker. So as far as looks, 
I don't think that these are the best looking headphones. Around the house, I don't mind wearing them. As far as comfort, they do hurt my ears after long listening periods, but I have some pads that cost more than the actual headphones themselves that make it more comfortable. As far as features, there are no features. They're just plain headphones. You plug them in and they work. Regarding sound isolation, these are semi-open back. So compared to the other ones, these don't do a great job of blocking out sounds. For sound quality, these actually produce some pretty deep bass, which is surprising. Overall, the response is very pleasing to my ears. I've used these a lot for editing videos and listening to music. They're not the best, but you know what? I'm more than happy. And my mom actually bought some for a bunch of family members. Check it out. Yes, my mom has a bunch of siblings and that's my grandmother. So for 30 bucks, I mean, you can't really complain. Now for the Sony WH-1000XM3s, what a mouthful. Uh, I really like these because I think they look pretty cool. They're pretty sleek and minimalist. Very comfortable for long listening sessions for me. I've slept with these just to test them out. Use them on a six hour airplane flight to Hawaii. As far as the feature set, they have a ton of features. They're wireless Bluetooth. You can wire them up. Battery lasts a long time on these. I mean, they fold up real small. A lot of good things that these actually can do. They have a wireless assistant. The main thing about these is the active noise canceling, which is the best. Yeah, they really just block out any noise that's out there and it does a great job of doing that. Perfect for those long flights. As far as sound quality, I mean, these do have a lot of bass and a pretty nice response. Something that's not fatiguing after long listening periods, but I can tell you that they don't have as much detail as the next pair of headphones that I'm gonna talk about. I've noticed that these actually do sound better when you're playing them over Bluetooth. Overall, these were originally 350. I've seen them below 300 when they go on sale. I think these are a very good deal. So let's take a look at the next pair of headphones. All right, so these are the Focal Stellias and yeah, they look, they look pretty awesome, right? As far as feel, they feel like they're built like, you know, there's a lot of metal, leather, a little bit heavy for long listening periods because, I mean, they're they're made out of metal. The cushion, the leather is all super soft, very comfortable. The wire, though, is very thick so that it does get in the way sometimes. Comfort overall, I would say they're, they're actually pretty comfortable. As far as features, they don't have any of the crazy tech that the Sony has. Now, they do have some technology as far as the drivers that they use and that leads to the sound quality. They're using beryllium drivers and they sound excellent. Super, super detailed, great bass. I mean, everything's good about them. Now, would I want to go out with these? It's just a little bit pricey for me to want to walk around with these at $3,000 a pair. Now, what do I think is worth it? For me personally, I think I'm gonna have to go with the Sony's. If I had to only have one pair, the Sony's just do so much they're the total package. They do a lot. They're comfortable. They look cool. They sound good. I wish they had slightly better sound quality, but again, what can you do? I'm comparing them with these Focal Stellias that are 10 times the price. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it entertaining and useful. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. That's pretty much it. Take care. Bye-bye.